During my time on iRacing, I've seen my fair share of drivers getting payback, revenge, and banned off the platform. Today, we're going to be going over the top 10 greatest paybacks on iRacing. So strap down, buckle up, we're in for some entertainment, subscribe if you're digging the content, and let's go ahead and jump into it. So kicking it off with number 10, getting junked post-race. Now, this is the most common style of payback you're going to see on the platform. Not only it will kill your safety rating, it will also land you a nice vacation. Making number nine on the list is going to be wrecking under yellow. Sometimes when you get taken out on iRacing, you want revenge and you want it now. When everyone checks up for the caution car, maybe that's the best time to get it done. Making number eight on our list is going to be the instant revenge. This often happens with hothead drivers who can't control their tempers. They don't get a chance to think about when they're gonna pay you back. They do it in the moment, despite if it's going to ruin their own day in the process. Racket, racket, racket. That looked a little intentional. That looks violent as hell. That looks very intentional. Moving on to number seven on the list, we got the do not protest me revenge. What I mean by this, oftentimes you'll see something blatantly intentionally happen and the driver is going to say, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to wreck you. So when they get that protest, they'll have something to back it up so they hopefully don't get that suspension. In this scenario, you can already tell car number 13 is a hothead. He just got the bumper from the 15 and he's going to hook a dead left and turn him into the wall. If you thought he was done there, a few laps later, Later, he's going to get to car number 12, completely mow him over. In the process, you're going to see this innocent bystander behind him. Car number 16 is going to unfortunately get collected. Well, this hot head is going to threaten revenge on the 16 for running into his rear bumper. Thanks for checking out, Liverpool dumb. F you, Brad. Learn how to drive that thing. Yeah, that was smart of you not to try and block me there. After you run right through me while I was slowing down. He waited for him all day until we got the white flag and straight turns him. His reasoning is going to shock you because he said he was trying to bump draft him at Dover. What the? Six, you finally got me. Dude, I was trying to push it around him and you just turned. Man, quit your f***ing whining. So I don't know what your problem is. Dude. Number six, the ARCA series hotheads. These guys in the ARCA division tend to be the worst, the most dangerous, the most aggressive. And as soon as they see the checkered flag, they see blood and they want revenge on anyone who wronged them in that race. It doesn't matter how vicious the contact was, they will make their point post race. Making number five on the list is one of very few times I personally lost my own temper. Dirt racing can get dirty, especially when you got aggressive drivers behind you that's willing to mow over their competitors. So coming to the checkered flag, I return the favor.
the jump for. Not even a little bit. <laughs> you took me out and run over the wall. I'll race long. Number four on the list is when you wait for your competitor to take them out. Similar to what Jeff Gordon done to Clint Boyer back in Phoenix of 2012. It doesn't matter how long it's gonna take, you're gonna get your point across and you're gonna land yourself a vacation. God damn, girl, you suck so bad. What the? What was that? Four car. Somebody's got a broken wheel on turn one and two, going up high right now. That's a four car. It's a four car. He's trying to take me out. And he took me out. Really sucks. Making number three on the list is when you say you're going to pay somebody back and you do. This driver said, remember when I get there. And the second he got there, he turned the guy. This led over to revenge, retaliation, and a post-race crash. Reckon, reckon. If you can't drive it in there and keep it in your lane, you shouldn't drive it in there that hard, bud. That's pretty stupid. 11, also, I don't want to hear anything about your misfortune when you drove a three wide. Bro, you drove a three wide in a turn three. I just slammed on the brakes and let you both go. But don't talk about your misfortune. You're making misfortune. I tell you what, I'll race you the way you just raced me, and you just make sure you remember when I get there. Reckon. Hey, hey man, you shouldn't say a word the way you drive other people. Yeah, that was a very deliberate wreck right there. Yeah, that one looked pretty intentional. You might as well report him. I would have repaid a little bit of the favor for the checker. That hurts my feelings. Moving on to number two on the list, we got Jesse Loves Revenge. Sometimes on iRacing, you get a race with the NASCAR stars. Well, in this one, the ARCA champion was not having it when he got put into the wall. Post-race on pit road, he wanted to show he wasn't happy about it. I'm sorry, man. What was that all about? And making number one on the list, this will 100% get you banned because this is a big no-no. Tempers flared and under yellow, this guy went the wrong way coming off pit road and wrecked the 14. This will 1000% get you kicked off the platform. Car number one got punted on only the first lap of the race. Clearly, he wasn't too happy about it. And on pit road, he decided to go the wrong way and get his revenge right then and there. Come on, man. 21, can you send it in there any faster, man? Thanks to whoever ran into the back of me then got in the wreck for giving me a 4X. That's perfect. I love that. You overdrove it into turn one so hard on the first lap. You're an idiot. At 14, I don't care if you're sorry, you still ruined my race. Watch this lap one wreck number 14. That's 10 protests, 10 vacations, and 10 drivers banned off the platform. I love when the entertainment gets high in these videos, and it's always fun making this type of content. Now, before we end today's video, I'd like to thank my Patreon members who I go iRacing with every Friday night for the DLB TV Racing League. Plenty of some racing content dropping all week, so subscribe if you enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you all in the next one.